So hello. So the purpose of this short video is really just to explain how to make the package of InDesign. In other words, a package of documents for distribution, uh, an InDesign package. But this time, the important thing is that we're doing it from the book panel. So we have two documents in our, in our book, as you can see, the introduction and the play. And what I need to do is to actually do this process from the book panel. Now, the point is, the important thing is, we mustn't have anything selected in our book panel. So just click away from there so that none of these is, is selected. Um, and then go to this little context menu here. Uh, we need to go down here, package book for print. And then we, what we need to do is to actually um, go through this process much like we did before. Uh, we do have a few little problems here which we need to um, make sure that we resolve. I've got, I can, I, I can see actually I've got some images that are still using um, RGB, so I really need to go back through those and change them to CMYK. So this is in a way like the last warning for us to make sure that we've, uh, that we've resolved those problems, and I, I will go back, as I say, and correct those problems. Um, Everything else in here is, is pretty straightforward. You don't need to make any other changes here. We will need to create the printing instructions. So make sure that that is ticked on there and then click package. This basically is the, is the document that we're going to be using for the print instructions. It's called instructions.txt. Don't change that name. Well, you, you can, but there's no reason for to do it. And you can put some basic information in here in this um, dialog box here if you want to, um, but we are going to write those instructions in here separately. So I'm going to click continue. Now what we need to do is to actually choose um, the PDF preset uh, that we're going to be using. So I'm just going to move into the correct folder that I need to put this package into. So enter into my design and production folder uh, and I'm then going to choose the PDF preset that I've previously created. So I already created this P PDF preset for my my previous uh, uh, time that I made the book packet, the package. Okay, so I'm actually doing that here. I'm selecting Dream 2021. Now you would already have a, a, a preset that you've already done. So I'm going to use that one and then package. The usual warning about the fonts, um, you're not necessarily allowed to copy all of the fonts, but again, that's just a warning. And we're now going to go through and package the document. So it's going to take a little while um, because it's obviously got quite a lot of work to do. It's going through these two files, saving the document, opening each one in turn. And then once it's done, we'll have a look at that folder and see what's actually in it. OK, that seems to have done the trick. So that's that's now worked. If we now go into our finder on the Mac and we can actually have a look to see where that's actually gone. Right, so this is now the folder that's just been created. Um, and this is actually the book package then, effectively. So you can see it's, it has um, the book itself. It has the two files, introduction and play. And it also has an IDML for each one of those. It also has links um, to all of the images that I'm using in my documents. And it also has all of the fonts that I'm using in my documents. So in other words, this is now what we need to uh, to to. to submit. However, we also now to in, in include um, the printer instructions within this instructions.txt file. Now, I, if I just simply double click on this on the Mac, it's going to open something called text edit. Um, and what I'm looking for is this section down here, special instructions and other notes. So what you need to do is to put into that section there, um, as indicated in the uh, instructions that you've been given, 
Um, you just need to write in there things like, you know, the extent of the book and the, the paper that you want to use, the weight of the paper and so forth and so on in that section there. Everything else, leave exactly as it is. Um, just that's all you need to do. So save that once you've edited it. And then all you need to do finally is to take that folder and compress it into a zip file. So on the Mac, simply compress the folder on a PC, you'll have to use a zip utility to uh, to zip it into a small compressed file. And that's basically all you need to do.